So now I'm going to do an example of Greek into decimal and then also decimal into Greek. Greek doesn't have any of the subtractive principles um, that uh, we have with the Roman system. So in some sense it's a little bit easier, but it is uh, a more difficult decoding exercise just because of the number of symbols. So we use the, um, can use the chart in the study guide here, and in an exam you'll be provided with something similar. <clears throat> and so the only important convention we have to remember um, is that when we see a comma before any of these symbols, it means um, a thousand times as much as the symbol is usually worth. So the first um, symbol we have here is a comma and a lambda, and we've got that lambda by itself is equal to 30. <clears throat> so this lambda here must be 30,000. The next symbol across is a lambda and an epsilon, and epsilon by itself, if we look at our um, chart, is equal to 5. <clears throat> and so that must be... 5,000. The next symbol across is omega, which um, is equal to 800. <clears throat> and then the last symbol here is a delta, and it's worth 4. So, since um, Greek is also an additive system, I can just add these together. So I've got 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 800 plus 4. And that gives me 35,804 as my final answer. When I'm converting in the other direction, again, I just have to remember that for thousands, I use this convention with the uh, comma or the little dash in front of it. So to represent 9,000, I've got a dash and then omega. Sorry, not omega. That's a theta. So theta is worth... 9, so I'm going to use this to represent 9,000. I've then got to find um, the symbol for 700, which is a psi. Looks like this, so that's my 700. And I then need a 20 and a 2, so looking for my 20, that's a kappa. So I'm going to put one of those in there. And then finally, um, the last two, that's worth... That's a beta. So this would be my final number in Greek. <clears throat>